Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be painting some watercolor herbs. For this, I am using my August color palette, which is available to download if you're a newsletter subscriber. I'm gonna be painting with Uproot Brushes Everything Watercolor for Procreate pack, but you can use any watercolor brushes that you have. Let's get right into it. So I'm starting in a blank canvas, the one that comes with this pack. You can use any paper texture that you want, but I really think that paper texture is essential to get the watercolor look. So I have four layers here, and I'm going to start off just by jumping into the painting on the leaves layer. Right now I have this darker green selected from my August color palette, and I'm going to use the Glazy Daisy. Starting off with the brush at about 5%, I'm going to paint some stems. I'm going to paint these diagonally, and I'm just going to do clean long strokes and then I'm going to add this wider base at the bottom. Now I am going to reposition this slightly. So I'm using the selection arrow here and I have magnetics turned on. I'm just going to move it slightly so it's more in the center a little less angled. I just realized I painted on my leaves layer, the stems. So I'm going to tap the selection arrow, use three fingers to swipe down, hit cut. And then on my stems layer, use three fingers to swipe down again and hit paste. Then moving on to my leaves layer for real, increasing my brush size to about 10% and we're gonna start painting some leaves. I'm painting these leaves with a single brush stroke, so that means that I don't lift my brush up. It's okay if you do lift your brush up and you get some overlapping strokes. It just means you can smudge it out later, and that'll be a little more work on that side of things. You can paint some of your leaves having a gap in the middle. This, I think, really helps lend that real watercolor look and it then also looks like an intended vein detail of the leaf. With my leaves painted here, I am going to duplicate the layer. So swiping over on the layer and then tapping duplicate. And then in the duplicate, I am changing the blend mode to normal. And then I am going to use two fingers to swipe to the right to turn alpha lock on. What we're doing here is we're creating a mask that we can select. This is going to allow us to smudge the color of the leaves without losing our hard edge outline. I'm selecting a solid white and then tapping on the layer to bring up the side menu. I'm going to tap fill layer. And then I will duplicate this layer once more pinch to merge the two together. Now it doesn't have to be a super opaque mask. If I turn this off, you can see it's only a little bit of white, but it's enough to function as a mask below here. So then I'm going to tap once more on the layer and then tap select. And then I'm moving back onto my leaves layer. That's a really important step. You want to move back onto your painting layer. Then with the smudge tool, I'm using the saturated water smudger and my brush size set to about 5%. Now I'm going to smudge some of these overlapping areas so that the leaves don't look transparent. And I'm also going to use this opportunity to vary the amount of pigment in the leaves. You can pull from off of the painting to pull in some white. 
In some places, I'm moving my brush size down to 3% so that I can really get these narrow spaces. And what I want to do is just soften some of the overlap of the leaves, but I don't want to totally lose the definition that I've created by drawing each individual leaf. So I am smudging in the middle, but I'm keeping my edges here intact. So you do have to decide which leaves are going to be on top and which are going to be underneath. So here, if this leaf is going to be on top, I'm going to smudge this hard edge here. If this leaf is on top, I'll smudge this side of it. I'm using the eraser tool still on the Glazy Daisy brush to remove some of this color here because it got so dark. And I want to still be able to show that this is a bunch of individual leaves and not a big mess of green. So removing some of the pigment helps to do that. And then I'm smudging it to even out the color. Now with this mask layer still selected, I'm going to move on to the detail layer and I'm changing the blend mode of this to add, which will allow me to use some lighter colors on top. So I'm selecting a lighter, softer green and I'm going to use the salt smudge tool and I'm just adding in some fun little bits of color variation here. And then I'm gonna change the opacity of this so it's not quite as vibrant, down to about 65%. I'm going to choose this even lighter green and using the wet bleed edge brush, I wanna add even more color variation here to show the difference in some of the sides of the leaves. So I have my brush size set to about 3% and then I'm changing my opacity down to 55 so I can slowly build up this color difference. All right, so I am still staying selected on this layer. I'm going to go back down into my stems layer and using the Glazy Daisy on the eraser tool, I am going to erase some of these places where the stems overlap. Then I'm going to go into my stems layer, tap the layer to bring up the side menu, and tap select. And then I am smudging out these places where I drew the base. And then deselect. Now I'm going to merge these four layers. Now selecting my sage layer, with this darker green that I used before, I am going to use the Blooming Cloud to add a couple more watercolor style effects. This is a hard edge brush, so I'm using it to imitate some of those pooled pigment areas.
then deselect the layer. Now I am going to resize it slightly because it turned out a little large for the canvas and I want a bit of a margin on all sides here. Now on the sage layer with the eraser tool still on the glazy daisy brush, I'm decreasing this size down to 2% and where all of my stems overlap here, I am going to erase a little bit and a bunch of small strokes. And then on the paintbrush tool, I'm going to use this and the Glazy Daisy brush. Setting the brush size here to 2%. And I am going to draw these little strings encircling the stems. And then add a couple little strings hanging off. Then on the background layer, I'm choosing this really light blush pink color. Still going to use the Glazy Daisy brush for this. For this, I'm setting the size to 100%, and I'm going to paint in this rectangle using one stroke so that I maintain a hard outer edge. Once I've drawn my rectangle or square, whatever it turns out to be for you, I am going in still on the background layer on the sprinkle drops brush. And here I have the size set to about 50% and I am just going to splash in some droplets for an added watercolor effect. And then in my layers panel, I am tapping on the sage layer to bring up the side menu and then I'm gonna hit select. And then back in my layers panel, I'm going down to the background layer and I am going to use three fingers to re remove the selection. I am repeating this step because as you can see, there's still a little bit of color overlap and I wanna remove all of that. So still on my background layer, I am going to press and hold on the selection arrow, which will bring up my most recent selection. And then I'll use three fingers to clear that selection. Now, if you are a hand letterer, you can certainly letter this. I am just going to add a bit of text here. You can use your font of choice and write the name of the herb. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Hopefully you learned something. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, subscribe. I put out new videos every Wednesday. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.